Hello, and welcome to the Learning and Applied Innovation Center on Demand Training. In the Intermediate Blackboard Training, we will cover a few basic steps for managing the Grade Center. We will review column organization, create categories for the Grade Center, download the Grade Center spreadsheet, review reports in the Grade Center, and grade an assignment with comments. Let's jump into a course and take a look. In your Blackboard course, Let's go to Course Management, Grade Center, Full Grade Center, and from the Action Bar, access the drop-down list with options for managing the Full Grade Center. The first one we'll take a look at is Grading Periods. Grading periods are a set of grade center columns that have been grouped on shared characteristics. For example, they can consist of a specific date range that define a grading period. In this example, I created a grade period for the first six weeks. I went to Create Grading Period. I gave it a title. I selected a date range that I wanted these to be grouped in, and I associated this grading period with the columns that have a due date with this range and then hit Submit. So now these can all be grouped within the first six weeks. Next, let's look at grading color codes. Color coding the Grade Center provides visual indicators to help you interpret information quickly. Next, let's look at categories. Categories are classifications of columns that contain similar items, such as assignments, or tests, and these are used to organize and view the Grade Center data. You can create your own category other than the defaults set here. Next, let's look at Smart Views. These are custom-made views of the Grade Center data created by instructors and saved for continued use. For example, Assignments, and it'll take you just to that. Next, let's take a look at Row Visibility. You can hide user rows to reduce the number of rows in the Grade Center grid to help you focus on specific data. For example, you can go ahead and hide everyone but a student and go ahead and show them all. Next is email. This allows you to send email easily to your students. Note, you will not get a copy of this sent email. Let's take a closer look at categories and what they can do for you and how to create them. Categories are used to organize and view Grade Center data and can be used when creating calculated columns. With categories, you can perform these tasks. Filter your view of the Grade Center. Calculate grades. For example, you can assign a weight to a category when you calculate final grades with a weighted column. Create a smart view and create reports. Blackboard comes with nine default settings, but let's take a look at how you can create your own category. To add a category in the Grade Center, click on Manage, and from the drop-down, select Categories. Select Create Category, and give the category a name, and hit Submit. Now you've created your own category. Column Organization. The Column Organization page allows you to manipulate the columns in the Grade Center display. Use the Grade Center Organization tool to reorder columns in a logical order, like by the due date. You can also reassign columns and check if there are any hidden columns. A hidden column can impact grade accuracy or may still be visible to students. Hidden columns are labeled as such and italicized. Let's take a look at a column organization in our Blackboard Grade Center. In the full Grade Center, under Manage, go to Column Organization. Here you can freeze columns. That means when you scroll through the Grade Center, those will stay stationary. You can also hide certain columns from your view to clean it up. You can also change the category quickly by simply clicking and changing the category. You can also change the grading period. A calculated column combines data from multiple columns to attain performance results by summarizing the scores from selected columns. Let's take a look how to do that. In the Grade Center, from the Action Bar, 
select Create Calculated Column. There are four choices for you to choose from. Let's make a column just for assignments. We'll go ahead and give this a name. Grade Center is optional. We're going to leave it to Score. We don't want a grading period in this. I'm going to select the columns and I'm going to say Assignment. I will leave the Calculate as Running Total to Yes. The running total exempts cells that don't contain any data. And I'll just leave these options selected as is. Now if we go to the end, here we can see that we have a column that we've created that will just have the total for the assignments. In the Grade Center, you can provide your students with extra credit. When you create the extra credit column, you must enter zero for total points, and you must enter the extra credit manually. Let's take a look how to do that. In the full Grade Center, go to the action bar and click Create Column. Give the column the extra credit name. Make sure that you put zero for the points possible. We're going to leave all these settings as is and submit. Here's where you will enter your extra credit points. Feedback is a great way to connect to your students and offer clarification for a particular grade. Use the Feedback to Learner text box to provide individual feedback and attach files like a rubric or a student's document with track changes. You can also embed audio and video recordings with your feedback to further connect with students. Students view the comments in My Grades. Let's look at an assignment and give it a grade and some comments. In the Grade Center, you will notice a couple of things. The first thing is, the Grade Center that has ungraded assignments are marked with a yellow icon. Click the drop-down icon for the assignment to be graded and click Attempt. Most submissions are a compatible file type and they will display in the browser. If a student has uploaded a file not supported, you will be prompted to download it. First, you'll want to give the student a score and then we'll want to give some feedback and submit. When you hit Submit, it will take you to the next student to grade. You can download all or part of the Grade Center and open it in a spreadsheet. Downloading the Grade Center from Blackboard ensures the file will be properly formatted when it is uploaded for students to view. You can download full or partial information from the Blackboard Grade Center. You can edit, change, or add grade columns, and then upload the changes back to the Grade Center. It is highly recommended to download the Grade Center after major grading. Let's take a look at the Grade Center. From the action bar, go all the way over to Work Offline and Download. Here you'll see the options that you can use to download the Grade Center. In this example, we'll use the full Grade Center. And then Download. Once it's been downloaded, you can go ahead and find it where you've saved it on your computer. You'll get that error, it's fine. Then this is where you can go ahead and make the changes, make additions, or you can add a column. So in this example, we've added an additional column that wasn't in the original Grade Center. Save the Excel and close it. Then when it's time to upload these changes, you can go back to the Work Offline and upload, find your file, and upload the file. You'll see here where the added column, you'll see a check mark where there have been changes. And if you look over here, we have the added column. You can run several types of course reports to view information about the Grade Center. From the action bar, go to the report menu. You can create reports that are customized and printable from the Grade Center data. This includes all the grades. Grade History is a tool that tracks all changes to grades within the Grade Center. It displays a table of data detailing every grade to date. There is also a report of each student's submission receipts. Reports will be covered in more depth in the Advanced Grade Center. Thank you for viewing this overview. Our IT knowledge base is online and on demand at any time. If you can't find what you need and want more assistance, please contact the NDSU Help Desk. Ours are listed on the webpage.